In October of 2021, Appian Media released our first feature-length documentary, Trial and Triumph Revelations Churches, our most ambitious and complex project to date. But we've not been idle in the meantime since then. We've been traveling around the country for screenings, conventions, and finishing post-production and writing on our next children's series, all the while laying the groundwork for our next big project. That's coming up on Inroads. Welcome to Inroads, where we share real-world examples of digital evangelism and provide tips on how you can use today's technology to spread the gospel. Learn more about us and watch our free video series at appianmedia.org. Okay, so this is huge, Stu. Appian Media is preparing to announce not one, but two new series. I am so ready for this. Oh, this, I, I just, I want to tell them right now. Yeah. But we have to wait. Don't do it. Before we can officially greenlight these projects, we are going to need everyone on board with this That's and right. everyone ready to support and help and make this possible. So we're going to need your help. We'll share more information about this later in the podcast and definitely in episode two. So stay tuned. We are in season five of inroads can you believe that it is i when, when i saw it i was like season five really season five. we've been doing this for five seasons That's already amazing i know we, we took, took a, a, we took a long time we took a sabbatical can we call us <laughs> how called, old do we have to be to have a sabbatical i i feel like yeah we should call it a sabbatical yeah. or a early retirement and we're out of retirement now oh that makes it sound even more impressive. it does kind of but sound a sabbatical cool. implies like we've been doing some deep thinking and right. introspection and mm -hmm. now we're ready to jump back in and make this so that's let's do that definitely what's been happening let's do that okay or i've been watching the lord of the rings on replay but so a lot of exciting developing developments happening within appian media um we've had we've had some great opportunities this year to share appian media with with other people share our mission with actual real live people i know we're back we are back <laughs> We're still alive, and oh man, uh, that's been really great. So that's what we're going to be talking about primarily in this episode is what we've been up to and teasing mm -hmm. what we have planned. That's right. So let's talk about Trial and Triumph, mm -hmm. okay? That we released, um, man, by God's grace, in October yeah. of 2021. Right. Um, it feels like a long time ago. If I mean, this is being recorded in July of 2022, so I guess that is... Not quite a year, but uh, right. feels like a long time. And it, I think it feels like a long time because that project, that was a two-year project. Right. From development through to pre-production, the slight postponement of it because yeah. of COVID, finally taking that production trip in October and releasing it a year later. Yeah. Um, so w what were your thoughts, man? We got to do some actual screenings. Yeah. Um, unlike what, what we were able to do with, with uh, Lessons from the Land, the Gospels, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. But we got to go to Kentucky, Alabama, Texas, Florida. Uh, what were your thoughts, man? Like actually getting to sit mm. in theaters and I, you know, you know, I don't, I don't think you can fully appreciate um, what it's like to do in-person screenings until you can't. Yeah. You know, we, um, we did Lessons from the Land the Gospels, and that was an online screening, and it was still really good. I mm -hmm. think we really uh, enjoyed that, but it just, man, when we can get into a theater and and watch people's reactions and and hear feedback from people in real time, uh, it, it really makes a difference, and there's an energy about that, and I know uh, somebody came up to me uh, after one of our screenings and said, you got to do more of these. Mm -hmm. We got to do more of these. And that's kind of the way, the way we've always felt is like we get through them. The first year, we just did one. The second year, I think we just did one. And then we started with Searching for a King to say, no, let's take this on the road. Let's do it. Let's do the road show. Yeah. And every year, I think we keep building it up because people want to see it. Yeah. And and we, we are, we're getting people who come to us and say, come to my city and, and, and show it. And so uh, it was really, it felt good. It felt really good to get in yeah. front of people again and uh, hear of people's feedback. Yeah, and some of these were people that had become donors or supporters of us after our last in-person. Right. So we were actually meeting them in real life for the first time, and that's really cool. Um, so to actually be able to fly out to Texas or to Florida 
Um, that that's been really special. That was a cool man. That was a cool showing. They were all cool in their own yeah. regards. Um, but the one down in Florida is at that uh, Christian College, uh, Florida College, right? And uh, we know quite a bit of people there. The, the, and, packed uh, the house, packed, right? Pretty much packed yeah. that that auditorium in Hutchinson, and and that was just really encouraging. Um, I know we we had a small table there with with the workbooks and mm-hmm. things that had not previously been presented to that group. Right. And man, people just snatched those up. And it's just exciting. It's yeah. exciting um, to hear from people who've already used the content um, and how they're using it, sometimes in ways that we hadn't thought of. Exactly. Um, and the encouragement that is for them. And I think it's interesting as well. Um, and, and when we're looking at a computer screen all day or a phone all day, we forget yeah. that it's kind of cool when you see stuff on the big screen. Yeah. Like we went to uh, the one in Texas. There was one in Houston that was in a movie theater. And oh my goodness, yes. to see that thing on this huge screen, it was just, it's pretty cool. And to hear it, uh, there's yeah. a different level of sound. It is. Um, so awesome. Yeah. But glad, glad we're back doing those. Yes. It's been incredibly, incredibly valuable. And we're going to share with you all how, Lord willing, the next world premieres and screenings of these upcoming projects to be announced yep. are going to be different. They will. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, we're excited for that. That's right. So let me ask you. So, I mean, you know, you, you kind of alluded to it at the beginning, but uh, a lot has been happening behind the scenes here at Appian Media, and especially with Trial and Triumph, um, because that is the most recent release that we have. Mm. Um, you know, you submitted it to several film festivals yeah. uh, between when we released it in October of last year and now. And it's been nominated for for several. It has, yeah. Do you know just off the top of your head? Can you list what uh, what it's what film festivals it's been nominated in? And oh, then man. already we've seen some awards come in for that one. It's true. Um, we got a nomination from uh, Winnipeg Christian Film Festival. I okay. didn't get to attend that one. Right, it was an online one, but that was super awesome. There's the the Content 2022 conference that uh, is held actually at Capernaum Studios mm. in Texas. And uh, we were nominated for, I believe, four, five different awards for wow. that one. We were nominated. And we won a few of those, which was so encouraging. Um, we obviously don't do it for the awards. Right. You know, um, it's, it's encouraging to see and to hear from our peers, because mm-hmm. those are the people who are... Um, judging these competitions to hear from our peers that the level of quality that we're producing Correct. is something that they appreciate and value. Yeah. You and I both know that's not the objective. How many right. awards can we get? From exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, but we do it because what it allows for us is with every nomination, it gets m- the attention of more people. And with every nomination typically comes an invitation to join people that may have never heard of Appian Media before at these events. And so we go as often as we're able and um, share with people about the mission and talk to them about what's coming up next. And we usually come away, you and I, when we've been able to go and we're like, if we, if we come away with an award today, that's awesome. If not, this has still been exactly. incredibly valuable. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking forward to the most. We've been nominated most recently by the Christian Worldview Film Festival, mm-hmm. which this year is going to be held at the Sherwood Baptist Church in Albany, Georgia. I don't know if that rings any bells for you. Hmm, it doesn't. Some of our listeners may recognize that is the location of where um, Alex and Stephen Kendrick first started making oh, their okay. feature films. Okay, um, was under kind of the guidance of yeah. the Sherwood Baptist Church, and so that's it, it's a massive campus. That's where the the festival is going to be held this year, and and Trial and Triumph was nominated, and so you and I plan to attend, mm-hmm. and that's coming up here in in just a little while in the beginning of August. Um, but yeah. you and I are turning it into who who can we interview for the podcast right. while we're there and who can we have lunch with and communicate about yeah. our upcoming projects. And that seems to be the, the way the it award is. is just icing it, on the cake. It, it is. Know? It is kind of, but that, that seems to be the way it is whenever we travel anywhere is, okay, what can we do? Who can we talk to? Who can we get this in front of? Um, because we just want to share Appian Media and we want to yeah. share uh, the stories that we're telling, the documentaries and, and all that. So yeah. Yeah. I think it's also encouraging for our donors. 
to feel good about the investment that they've made in these projects. We we aren't making these on our own. Right. The, and the the accolades that they receive, it's not it's not for me. It's not for right. you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's for the team that put it together, and that includes every donor yeah. that funded the project. And so I think it's encouraging to them. I've heard from some of our donors. They're just as excited, maybe even more so, right. when they hear, you guys got nominated. Look at those you know, those laurels on your poster yeah. and how many can we get? Yeah. Um, they talk about it like it's something we collectively, Correct. with them included, have done. Well, and that's awesome. Yeah. And, and you know, it's, it's, you mentioned the laurels. It's, it's funny because, and maybe it's just in our circles, but I don't think so. I think people are becoming more savvy to it. When you see those laurels on a movie poster, you, you, especially if you're scrolling through Netflix or Amazon or wherever you're looking for your content, uh, you start to go, oh, you go, you go, oh, okay, well, maybe I will invest the time in mm-hmm. watching this piece of content, this video, this documentary, whatever it might be, because I see all these laurels, which is a sign of this has been nominated or won several awards. And I know I do that when I'm scrolling through content. Um, and so maybe that's a good thing is, you know, having the laurels on uh, the, the movie poster. I know we did that for Searching for a King when it won a several awards. Um, helps bring more people in to watch it. And you just never know. Yeah. It's like a seed being planted. You just don't know. So Yeah. And we're we are trying to plant different types of seeds. Right. The main seed we're trying to plant is the seed of the gospel. Mm-hmm. We want people to be able to sit down and and hopefully people who haven't yet responded to the gospel. They see something, they hear something, and they want to know more about Jesus. Man, that that's a seed that we want to plant, and that's our primary objective. We we also are trying to plant the seed of the mission of Appian Media so that we can continue to create more content like this and continue to spread the gospel further. And so our hope is that, you know, maybe a fellow producer is sitting in the audience. Maybe there's a distributor mm-hmm. who would be interested in, in carrying our content, and we want to have a conversation with them. Maybe it's someone who's looking to donate mm-hmm. and invest in the creation of of new content just like this. We rub shoulders with those sorts of people when we attend these film festivals. It's it's one of the best opportunities to do so. Yeah, I agree. So uh, someplace else that um, we haven't talked about that we rub shoulders with is we uh, we had a chance to go to Houston earlier this year. Mm -hmm. And that was a neat experience. Uh, You know, maybe some of our listeners aren't familiar with what we were doing down there, but um, uh, we were invited to go to a press conference uh, by Dr. Scott Stripling. Uh, He was the archaeologist that we featured in Searching for a King, uh, and he announced that uh, they had made a discovery uh, of a curse tablet in uh, on Mount Ebal in Israel. So that was earlier in the spring, and at the time, uh, it was really preliminary. And mm-hmm. they're still, as of uh, the recording of this podcast, they're still, uh, I guess, looking at that and and trying to verify that it all is um, accurate, like Scott was announcing. Um, but that was kind of a neat thing as well, because yeah. uh, again, Appian Media was was invited to attend. We covered the event and uh, talked to other. Uh, other Christian filmmakers that are doing things like what we're doing, um, who were there covering the event as well, and then uh, th- put out a video that ended up That's being right. one of the <laughs> the biggest uh, viewerships. That's I don't know, you explain it. Well, it is it is one of the first videos that we could honestly categorize as a viral video, mm-hmm. which we found um, humbling and I found personally hilarious because it's two dudes, (laughs) you and myself, sitting at a table. It was a live stream. Yeah, We were simply trying to present to our audience this information as soon as we were able to, and we both have a news background. This is what we do or have done. And, uh, you know, not a whole lot of production value to it. We were able to show some sound bites from from the announcement itself. and we were there producing some other pieces of content mm-hmm. as well, some of which we, we haven't yet released. Um, so for that particular video, man, it just, it caught. Yeah. And when you would Google Mount Ebal Curse on Tablet on YouTube or on, on Google, Google, it was, it was you know, yeah. within the top one to three. That's amazing. Um, so that was exciting. And yeah, we, we actually had donors that we reached out to when this opportunity was presented to us, Dr. Scott Stripling had had reached out or his team had reached out and right. said, we'd love for you guys to be there. Um, 
we hadn't budgeted for a trip like that. Correct. And it does take funds. And man, some donors stepped up within very short period of time and said, yeah, we, we believe this would be valuable. Let me just tell if those donors are listening right now, and, and you haven't yet seen everything that we've produced from that trip, but I hope even what you have seen, your investment has already brought about a great return. Yes. And um, well, we were so blessed to be on that trip. And it was it was interesting because as it unfolded, I think it, it got bigger and bigger and bigger. And and I remember you and I, we were sitting in the hotel the night before, and we, we were like, we need to have a, a, a call with our story team. Yeah. Um, who who is just up on on all of those things and, and just kind of just ask them what kinds of questions we really should be posing to Scott and uh, they were saying you know and I don't want to give away too much because this this kind of leads into uh, into what our announcement is for for the next for next week's podcast but they were saying uh, th- this is potentially a big deal yeah and and so it was it was just like we were sitting there going oh man. So right. ask him this. Yeah, exactly. And ask him this. Right. And we're like, oh, guys, do you understand? We could potentially be shooting some of the first content. Correct. For our as of yet unannounced. Correct. Like, so. Correct. Guys, it was it was an awesome trip. And Stu, was, I, th- yeah. I think we were in Houston for like th- 36 hours. It, it was, was not long. We were in and out. Yep. Um, it was not long. And uh, we were able to interview someone from Scott Stripling's um, mm-hmm. Team that was there when they actually found the item, yeah, um, and that was really cool. Again, we di- we didn't plan for that necessarily, yeah, but uh, we were just like, we are going to capture as much as we possibly can. And one of those things was a live video that has now gotten. I mean, I don't know. We're we're nearing four hundred thousand views. Wow, or something for cool, but great. Um, yeah. It's brought some interesting comments mm-hmm. on YouTube. I bet, which I am I am in charge of. You are moderating. Interesting. <laughs> Good comments, weird comments, yep. all of the, all the gamut. So, but so there's been a lot. There has been a lot and and I will say that particular trip and that particular video is one of the reasons why Appian Media crossed a really exciting milestone just within the last few weeks of 30,000 YouTube subscribers, which Yeah. I mean, we're no dude perfect yet or Mr. <laughs> Beast perhaps. Not yet. But uh that's an exciting Thing for yeah. us and for our team, um, it means that when we release new video, potentially thirty thousand people have asked to be notified. Like that's that's cool. That is really neat. That's cool. Yeah. So listen, after the break, we're gonna talk about our adventures into the exciting world of homeschooling. Oh boy! And homeschool conventions. And we're going to talk about the progress of our next children's series, which is, Lord willing, going to be released this year. So that's coming up. Okay, so we're preparing for our next two productions. You heard that right, two productions. And they are already proving to be the most ambitious, challenging, and expensive projects that we've attempted. And we're going to need the support and prayers from everyone to make this happen. That's right. We will officially be announcing the titles and the locations Mm -hmm. of these projects on August the 13th. So that's coming up August the 13th. If you aren't already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube and social media channels and be ready to join us in making these incredible and compelling projects a reality so that everyone can delve deeper into their Bible study. This is something you guys are not going to want to miss and you'll be part of this exciting journey. So join us, sign up for those channels, and join us on August 13th. So we've not delved into this topic of conversation on this podcast before, but let's talk homeschooling. (laughs) Your thoughts. We are changing the podcast format to (laughs) the Craig and Stu Homeschool Podcast. We're going to talk parenting and homeschooling. and All of the things that I do not. I'm I'm not qualified. I'm an absolute master. uh, I know everything about it. Let's see. Uh, I have started homeschooling my son. He is not quite in kindergarten yet. <laughs> so wait a wait a second. How does that work? How does that work? Yeah, you're further along in your homeschool journey than That's I am. True. So. I am um, born and bred, raised home. To, I don't know. Like from birth, I guess I was homeschooled. Yeah, from birth. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so homeschooled my entire education. However, married a wonderful woman who was not, and mm-hmm. she had a great experience. 
um, public schooled there in Lincoln, Nebraska. And so when we got married, we kind of were like, we're, we're going to try. I'm, I'm open to either one and let's kind of see how it is. And, and we have, um, with our, our, our oldest son, um, he just finished, Ooh, I hope I get this right. He just finished second grade. Okay. Our daughter just finished kindergarten. Okay. And our youngest, um, boy, he wishes he were in home school. He yeah. kind of maybe draws and does stuff nearby. He wants to be involved, but we see value in 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 training our kids in that way. I'm not going to be one to say that it's the only way that sure. you can educate your kids. I see incredible value in in both. Um, but it has opened some cool, unique opportunities for Appian Media, and something that we've been much more intentional about this year in pursuing. So uh, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Oh man, and well, what we did this year. Yeah, I mean, so. Uh, 2022 has been a great year for Appian Media, just in, in sense of like we've really proactively thought about where can we go to get the message out about Appian. You know, we dipped our toe in homeschool conventions uh, before COVID, mm. uh, 20, I don't know, 2019, something like that, 2018 maybe it was, yeah. because we we didn't hardly have any content to, to share with people. Uh, and we just saw it like, man, there are a lot of people here that are just they're looking for that kind of content. Yep. They, they want that. And so um, we came back and said, okay, let's do that. We have, we've had a couple members of our team, Dan uh, especially, who's been like, look, I mean, he's homeschooled all of his kids. That's so right. he knows. And he's got, yeah, kids. he's got kids. He's got a son going to high school or going to college this year. Um, but he's been like, look, you got to go to these homeschool conventions. You got to go to these homeschool conventions. And so we did it this year. Mm-hmm. I, I'll say we went to two. Uh, the Great Homeschool Convention in Cincinnati, Ohio, which is a big one, a mm-hmm. real big one. Uh, and then the Teach Them Diligently Homeschool Convention, uh, I guess, in uh, Gatlinburg, yeah. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yeah. And the response was really, really amazing. You know, we have um, a complete, you know, two, three complete series plus a children's series that we were able to share with people, but people were coming up and they were just amazed yeah. by the content. I loved how, you know, we would get into our rhythm with our pitch. Hey, do you know about Appy? You don't? Okay. Well, whenever we get to the place where they would go, uh, where, we, where we would say, uh, oh, you can watch this for free. I, I would see the people's reactions and they were like, what? What's the what's the catch? Exactly. That was kind of where yeah. they would come from. Um, no, no catch. cash, man. So, and, and usually... Uh, I would say almost always they walked away and said, yep, I'm going to go check this out. Uh, a lot of times they'd walk away with a workbook in hand yeah. because they were just so impressed with the, with the quality of it. And so, yeah. And this, again, there were a lot of different objectives. Right. You know, obviously we're there and we're selling product. We're selling DVDs. Yes. People still buy DVDs. <laughs> yeah. Homeschoolers buy DVDs for That's sure. Right. And uh, that sounded like a slam. I didn't mean for it. To... Hey, you're the actually, homeschooled one. I am the you can say that. But what I will say, someone actually brought up, they wanted to buy DVDs, even though they knew they could watch them for free and stream them on our app, but they wanted the DVDs for their car while they drove on road trips. And it's right. like, okay, that's genius. It that's is. A, that's a great mm-hmm. idea. And so, yeah, people were buying DVDs. They were buying workbooks. But you and I, our objective wasn't primarily we need to make as much money as possible. Right. It was nice. Obviously, when we sell product, that goes towards the creation of new stuff. Correct, yeah. But it was also, who can we talk to? And it was talking to people who already knew us, donors who were in the area. But by and large, it was introducing ourselves to people who had never heard of us before. And that's really cool. Yeah. That's really exciting. Um, Yeah, man, giving them that pitch and saying, it's free to watch. It's free to watch online. And you will come to a better and deeper understanding of your Bible. Yeah. And we hope a, a deeper love for Jesus when you watch this content. No strings attached. Enjoy. Yeah. So, so let me ask you this question. So why do you feel like it's important for us to be at these homeschool conventions and in this, in this community? That is a great question. It's something you and I talk about a lot. It is. It's something that's the very intrinsic to the mission of Appian Media. Is it's, it's why this whole thing got started, really, was we were looking at what can we produce for the young people. The next generation of Bible students need to get re-engaged with the, the biblical text. We can see a disengagement happening, and it's troubling, and it's discouraging at times, and it is our responsibility. God actually says so. Yeah. As fathers, it is our responsibility to teach our children 
to love him with their heart and strength and soul and mind. And so to go to a place where parents are taking very seriously the education of their children and looking for resources to do that well. Mm -hmm. And some of it is, it's not necessarily spiritual resources. They're looking to teach their kids in math and history and all that important stuff. But a lot of those parents are also very much looking for, what can I do to help my kids understand and appreciate the Bible? Enter Appian Media. Right. You know, that is very much at the heart of what we, we are doing and what our long-term goals are. Yes, we've produced three series and a children's series, but when you look at the percentage of the Bible that we have covered with our content, it's not as much as I would like. Mm-hmm. Um, we have we have goals to to be able to offer curriculum for whatever anyone may want to study in the Bible, and so to hear from these these parents and these teachers and these other. Um, to hear from some of the students, honestly, some of the kids were coming up to us. They were coming up to us for the candy that you were offering. That's right. That was gone within day one. It was gone fast. But then they were also like, you know, just seeing them flip through the books and watch the videos that we had playing and already asking questions and getting engaged. Like, yeah. That's great. You know, and this is something that wasn't uh, new to us this year. We actually, in the very beginning... Um, you know, we were thinking Bible classes, Bible classes, Bible classes, and uh, we would have homeschool co-ops and homeschool parents who would come and say, hey, can we use Following the Messiah in our homeschool co-op because of the geography and the culture and the history that is just obviously baked into the the material and into the Bible? And we were like, yeah. Oh, I mean, if, why not? Go a for it. Idea. And yeah. so then we kind of, that kind of opened our eyes to this uh, this world of homeschooling and um, it, yeah, it's it's kind of been a, a neat thing, and so in lessons from the land, the gospels seem to really pique a lot of people's attention at yes. that because of the fact that it was really geared toward that that elementary age audience, and the videos are just fun and short and uh, just easily consumable, um, you know. And so we walked away from there going, we 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 got to produce more of that. Mm-hmm. So I guess that kind of really leads into uh, our next discussion of we are. yeah. Yes, and so this is something. It's not like we went to those homeschool conventions and went, "Oh man, we better get on that." Right. Um, we, we are nearing the end of post production of the next set. We actually uh, shot the remaining footage necessary last summer, and uh, we've been editing, and our team has been writing, mm-hmm. um, writing for the workbooks and editing the videos. Thirteen new videos, lessons from the land, the kings. And so what this is, similar to what we did with the Gospels, is we're taking some footage from our Searching for a King material. Um, We're introducing some brand new footage, actually, that we never did release uh, from that first trip, and uh, packaging them into these four- to six-minute videos that are specifically designed for grade school kids and for classroom settings. Um, and as we, you know, as you said, we're already seeing that's Bible classroom settings and that's homeschool classroom right. settings. That's Bible home study settings. And uh, I know my kids, clearly, this is their favorite thing that, that we produce at yeah. Happy. And they're thrilled uh, that we're doing another set. And uh, Lord willing, that's going to be coming out later, later this year. You know, and I think. Um it's easy for us to get behind, get um, caught up in all of the production of this and then not talk to people for a long time like we've done with the podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, but there is so much that goes into creating even something like Lessons from the Land. You know, Obviously, we have to shoot the content initially, but then, as Craig mentioned, we went back and uh, in the summer of last year shot a, a lot of content with Barry to go along with it, and then we've been editing and then we've had another team that's been working on the workbook yeah. uh and it's that's being proofed uh right now and you know there's just so much th- and then on top of that we've already started writing lessons from the land uh seven, seven churches. churches that's right and and so i mean there is just always uh something in the pipeline yep uh and right now it's lessons from the land yep. and it, it's going and it's going and even when you don't hear from us for a while there is something that's being done, and it's it's very involved. And uh, even what I, I wouldn't even consider Lessons from the Land a smaller project, but even a project that's not our main uh, tentpole projects, 
Uh, it's very involved. It is. Yeah. We used to say, I mean, you and I used to say like uh, big project, little project right. or a project and B, and like after the lessons from the land, the gospels, we stopped it's doing right. that because it's, it's the same. It is the same. It's the same. Um, tent pole is maybe the, um, it's not like we're simply taking the footage and recycling it. Right. It is brand new footage. It's new lessons. And oftentimes we are then making use of content from those production trips that we couldn't use before or Correct. didn't use before. And that's certainly the case with, yeah. with this one. But we're getting better about it. And I think when yeah. we go and shoot projects, we have lessons from the land in mind now. Yes. And we go, okay, what do we need to get maybe specifically for lessons from the land? Or we're going to write scripts in advance so that way we know what lessons from the land content is going to be. Um, so what an idea, what an idea. Mm. <laughs> so that's, yeah. Lessons from the land, the Kings, which, uh, as you said, is in post-production right now. Um, the workbook is real close. Oh man. That, and that workbook, you know, and I always, I always put in this caveat, I can brag on these workbooks real hard because I have nothing to do with them. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's other members of the team that have done exceptional work. Um, Justin Dobbs has spearheaded yeah. this one again, and man, it's, it's awesome. Um, we even roped in my brother Jeff uh -huh. did some of the the coloring pages. Yeah, um, the photos. A lot of them are what Dan took when we right. were um, there um, for searching for a king, and uh, and then I mean you do some of the formatting. It it's really coming together, and I'm I'm thrilled with it. And so that's that's coming. I can't wait. And we talked about this at the at the last homeschool convention. I can't wait until we have all of these lessons from the land workbooks just yep. lined up on that table. Yep. And I think when people see that, they're going to be like, wow, this is so amazing. And that's where you're really going to get people who connect the dots and go, I can take my child through the whole Bible with this Lessons from the Land material. Yep. Um, I think that's where it's going to get really exciting. It's hard right now when we just have one yep. book to really visualize that. But but the vision is for something bigger. Much bigger. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what we're working on. And that will be... Um, you know, something that we're we're intending to pursue in the future. You can understand one of the most common questions that we got at these conventions and these screenings, and when I, you know, when people stop me in the grocery store because I'm obviously a celebrity. That's right. I'm lying. That has never occurred to me in my life. <laughs> um, but when people do ask me questions, what's the question, Stu? What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? And that's a great question. It is. And. For up until about three months ago, the legitimate answer was, we don't know mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. That was not, we have no idea. Right. We have plenty of ideas. Oh, yeah. You know that. We've got a whiteboard full of ideas. But up until about three, four months ago, we knew what we wanted to do. But we have, within those last three or four months, been able to identify what it is that we would like to accomplish and we've set several things in motion and we're really excited to tell you guys more about that but it's going to take a whole podcast at least yes probably a good portion of this next season yeah to to delve into the different elements of this so this is like the biggest tease in the world <laughs> you've listened to this entire episode and we're going to encourage you guys to join us in episode two, um, we're going to tell you all about it. We're going to tell you all about it because we're going to need everyone involved right. to actually make this thing happen. So we're getting ready to pitch to you what we want to do next. Mm -hmm. But you all get to decide whether that's something that that you're willing to support so that we can actually do it for you. So we've got a whole much, uh, a lot more that we intend to share and and I do want to clarify too. Throughout this this season of Inroads, we're going to continue to highlight other people that are using digital media to spread the good news of the gospels. That's going to be potentially members of our own team that you haven't heard from in a little while, or maybe at all. Um, there might be some additional new members that we're excited to introduce you to. Um, and then we're going to pull back the curtain on what's next. And really, we want you guys to join us through the process, because with Inroads in the past, we have talked about our past projects and what they took. And, you know, we've, we've rested since then. And yeah. We're able to kind of look back with this perfect 2020 vision. This time around, we want you guys to join us on, 
on on the trip. Essentially, right. we want you guys to join us in in the journey and and ask questions along the way. And I think this is something that's going to come up uh, in this season of the podcast is we are working more and more to bring a, a more community feel to what we're doing at Appian Media and really realize that this is kingdom work being done and everybody has something that they can contribute to this um, no matter what it might be. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, so we're excited to hear from people and we're excited to engage people on the front end and really, uh, really build this community. So... So we're again encouraging people to join us on August the 13th. That's when the official announcement is going to be made online on our YouTube channel, our social media channels. And then the, the next episode of Inroads is going to drop. Oh, I think that would make it the that following Tuesday. That's it will right. drop during that week. And so every question you probably have about what that production and what that project will be, uh, we'll answer next time on Inroads. Inroads is a production of Appian Media. We're a nonprofit video production company that is 100% crowdfunded. If you're interested in learning more about how you can support Appian Media so we can continue to create more great free content, visit us at appianmedia.org.